Hey guys, Jerry Bossman, Vaco. This is my partner Todd Marinich with Vaco as well. We flipped a coin to see who would do the presentation. Guess who lost? <laughs> so uh, I want to talk. I start off by misquoting one of our founding fathers, either Abraham Lincoln or George Washington. If you want a two-hour presentation on the State of the Union, I'm ready to go right now. If you want a five-minute summary, I need about two months to prepare. <laughs> That's why the four, minute, the four minutes are so tough. Vaco was founded to attract and retain the best IT and accounting recruiters on the planet. If we attract the best IT players on the planet, we can speak to trends, as you had mentioned earlier. If you want to know about trends, our people will be able to speak to that. They'll know to be politely persistent, as we say, or to stay in top of you to let you know that we're here. And they'll be able to speak to things like Facebook and YouTube. We typically say to candidates, it's good to have a Facebook. It's bad to be on YouTube. So we can speak to those things with that experience. From, uh, if you look at it from the retention standpoint, we want to talk about retention. They'll be able to understand what you said about the value of building a relationship, the investment of actually going out there, Josh, and you know, understanding the operation that you guys have. And they'll also be able to see the value of filling out the RFP, Lance, as you said. And just so you know, if you're looking for a show of hands, we definitely want your money. I don't know if we made that point earlier, but we definitely do. <laughs> so uh, how do we do that? VACO was, again, was founded to attract and retain top talent. And we decided to do that by setting up each office as its own LLC. We have 18 offices across the nation. Before VACO, people usually had to, d to decide between A, going with a traditional firm, where you can be a contributor as a at a big organization, but it's tough to experience the equity value of that. Or go out and start your own company, where we faced the mom and pop issues of AR issues, of, of economy changes, and things like that. VACO offers a hybrid opportunity where we'll go into a market, give them a salary from the very beginning, and offer the majority of the equity ownership to the entrepreneurs that are leading that local market. This man back here in the back is leading our technology practice in Atlanta. Him and his team own the, the majority of the LLC in Atlanta. That means that they're going to, they're top players, that's why we attracted them. But it also means they're going to be there in two years, three years, four years, five years. In an industry that averages over 50% turnover, since inception, Vaco's had less than 5% turnover. That's something we're really proud of. It's also resonated across the globe in that starting from one person in 2002, we've grown to 18 offices, $97 million in revenue last year, and over 1,000 people on board, 200 internally and 800 consultants. Uh, these are the few of the things that we, we serve. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these positions. Todd Marinich is a great example of who we want to bring on board because he was a star player at one of the traditional firms, year in, year out, top producer, went out and started his own company and was very successful with it, but it, he didn't have the national reach of a, of a VACO operation where we have offices from Florida to California up to the Northeast. So he struggled with the payroll instead of working with his clients, <coughs> consultants, and candidates and making sure that they were well served. Joining VACO, he has a back office operation that will support those things, and he has a national reach to serve his clients and his candidates and consultants so he can focus on helping you guys grow your businesses. And that spells through the rest of the organization. Finance, accounting, and IT are what we're based in, and so that speaks to some of that. It's also been well received. We were the number 33 on the Inc. 500. I usually accidentally say Fortune 500. I think that's the wishful thinking there, but we're doing what we can. <laughs> so we were number 33 on the Inc. 500 last year, and that speaks to, again, attracting and retaining the right players. Uh, that's me. It's embarrassing, but the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year in the Southeast, it was right here in Georgia over the Intercontinental, great hotel. Glad to be a part of it. And we've 18 offices, 100 million in revenue, and we have less than 5% turnover. Thank you guys very much.